It occurred to me recently that there's such a high premium in our society placed on perfectionism and popularity that often we can lose sight of our purpose. So our purpose can easily take a back seat to us striving to be perfect and to be popular. Um, let me tell you what happened to me. So about a month ago, I was recording uh, some bass tracks for an R&B gospel song called Oxygen for New Destiny Music Group. There's a 16 measure bridge in this song. And even though most of the song is synthesizer bass, I wanted to put a um, real bass in the 16 measure bridge and I wanted a specific bass sound. It needed to be an old school, vintage, kind of gritty and dirty bass sound that sounded like it was from the 70s or so, maybe late 60s. So all of my basses really were, were too clean for this track. So I dug out an old bass that was given to me by a producer years ago, um, a cheap bass, and um, this bass, the strings have not been changed since about 2000. I'm gonna show you this bass. When I got this bass, um, I bought a pit guard for it, a pearl pit guard. Now look, it's missing knobs. I had painted it green, um, but I was gonna get it repainted because I didn't like it. Now look at this, it's still got painter's tape on the, on the, the tuning gear, blues painter tape. The bass is not beautiful. The strings not changed since 2000. But when I played this bass on that track, it was the perfect fit. So while this bass is not perfect, it's not popular, it definitely fulfilled its purpose. So in the future, I will appreciate and respect this bass for what it is and what it does in the confines of its purpose and its role. I'm gonna play you a little clip of that bridge and man, it turned out funky.